I was just leaving Tim a voicemail. Oh, he likes to hear from me when I'm trying on lingerie. I tell him what I'm putting on, how it looks, how it makes me feel. Come on, show me what you think is sexy. There for a Jeff's mom. Look at your mom bra! Ooh. There is so much surface area. You could make three regular bras out of this one mom bra. This isn't my mom bra. This is my sexy bra. <laughs> Shut up. Don't laugh. Wait, are you serious? Yes! Oh, honey. Let me be proud of my sagging, uneven boobs. What's the basis for you? Stay tuned to find out. Hello everyone, this is me, your lawyer in the making mom. I'm a mom and a graduate of Juris Doctor degree, which is basically a doctoral degree in law and jurisprudence. What's unique about my channel is that I provide legal basis or significance for every video that I make. I also advocate for women's well-being by providing tips and tricks on self-love, self-improvement, and self-care. Today, I will talk about bra, being a basic human right. I know several women across the globe are advocating for equal treatment on their workplaces. One of, one of the things that they advocate is that they be braless on their workplaces. Can you imagine a workplace with nipples all around but I respect that advocacy they have the right to be breathless so long as they are not offending another's right that's basic in civil law and there's another right which is equally important which is the management prerogative to set guidelines for the employees but today I'm not going to talk about bralessness in this uh, video i'm going to talk about having the right bra as a basic human right for women Bex, <gasps> 200 dollars on mark jacobs underwear oh underwear is a basic human right today's video is about moms or women putting themselves last or should i say putting their breasts last once I became a mom, several aspects of me changed. One of which is how I get dressed and how I take care of myself. After giving birth, my uniform of choice consisted of oversized shirts, oversized shorts, and nursing bras. The oversized shirts meant uh, for me to be comfortable and well of course to hide my newly acquired mommy tummy nursing bras meant easy access for my baby whenever she got hungry even though it also mean that my boobs were hanging on my knees does motherhood require immense sacrifice yes does that mean that you neglect yourself in the name of motherhood? Absolutely no. So what is the legal basis for this vlog? It is provided that the state shall promote and protect the right to health of every individual and shall instill health consciousness among them. Right to health includes the highest attainable standards of physical and mental well-being you would be amazed that the right kind of bra would promote the would promote this highest attainable standards of physical and mental well-being the wonder of a brand new life but oh this wonder comes at such a cost I'll never be the girl I used to be back then. And I'll never find the one again. <laughs> Let's make a move, take a shot. You can find the one again. It's never gonna happen. You gotta shake what you got. You can find You want sweet, I want hot, you want fine. Look at all the 
After breastfeeding, women's breasts may or may not return to their original pre-breastfeeding shape and size. Some women's breasts stay large. Some women's breasts shrink. But sagging is the most common side effect of breastfeeding. Let me be proud of my sagging uneven boobs. Please watch Solene, that PH. She does amazing vlogs about motherhood and everything about self love. A study conducted in 2008 showed that women. 80% of women were wearing the wrong size of bra. 70% of them were wearing bra that were too small for them. While 10% were wearing bras that were too big, too big for them. Here are the common problems moms encounter with their bras after breastfeeding or after giving birth. Number one. The straps are always falling down. Well, the common solution for this is you tighten the straps. Also remember that the more worn the bra is, the more it will stretch. So if it's falling always, probably it's a wave of goodbye from your bra and it's time for you to let it go and buy a new one. Number two. There's spillage over the cups. Brass should enhance your breasts, not making them lumpy. So if there's a spillage over the cups, most likely you're wearing the wrong size of bra. Here's the trick. The next time you go bra shopping, you ask the sales assistant for the specific brand that you want to buy that you want to buy. They are trained enough for a specific suggestion on the specific concern of your breasts. So it will be easier for you. It will save you time to research on the internet what kind of bra that is best suited for your breasts. You just ask. There's no harm in that. Look at your mom bra. Ooh. There is so much surface area. You can make three regular bras out of this one mom bra. This isn't my mom bra. This is my sexy bra. <laughs> Shut up. Don't laugh. Wait, are you serious? Yes! Oh, honey. Number three. Wearing the mom bra. So what's wrong with the mom bra? It's a kind of bra that moms don't want to get rid of because of, first, financial reasons. Second, they get so comfortable in it. Up to the point that their boobs were hanging already on their knees. It's not hugging their breasts right. It's not good. Wearing the right kind of bra is helpful, especially when it fits properly. There are many perks that comes with a good quality undergarment. A. It hides your nipples. B. It delays sagging. Why? It helps the ligaments keep the elasticity longer. So it will kind of delay the sagging part of your breasts. And it's giving you the push that your breasts need. C. It prevents bouncing. The clothes will fit better. E. It helps with posture. 
a good posture can give you a boost and uh, it will give you that kind of confidence when you walk when you talk to people when you face the world i was just living to my voicemail oh he likes to hear from me when i'm trying on lingerie i tell him what i'm putting on how it looks how it makes me feel f it prevents back pain I've been experiencing this before with my nursing bras. I didn't know it was because of my uh, bra. But when the moment I changed na to a quality undergarment, the pain fade away. A properly fitting bra will help you look better in the clothes that you own. You don't need like you don't need a super model closet for you to look good. You just need the right kind of bra so that it will give you the right kind of push. One big key to avoiding a frumpy look is making sure your breasts are properly supported under your clothes. When they are, you'll instantly look slimmer and your clothes will fit better. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked my video. Please leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified of my recent uploads.